Alright, time to create some decorations for our Christmas tree. Select the nodes and press Ctrl G to create a node group. Press N to open the property sidebar and rename the group to tree base. The first decoration we will create is a Christmas ball. So add a UV sphere and set segments to 16 and rings to 8. Next, add a cylinder and a join geometry node. With the join geometry node, we can view more than one mesh at a time. Set the radius of the cylinder to 0.2 and the depth to 0.4. To move the cylinder, add a transform node and use the translation C value to move it to the top of the sphere. Lastly, add a set shade smooth node after the join geometry node. That's all we need to do to make a Christmas ball. So select the nodes and press Ctrl G to make a group and rename the group to tree ball. It's important to stay organized. Add a Realize Instances node, a Join Geometry node, a Distribute Points on Faces node, and an Instance on Points node. And connect them like this. We can then connect our tree ball group to the instance socket of the instance on points node. Of course, the balls are way too big, so set the scale to something like 0.04. One last thing we need to adjust is the distribution of the balls on the tree. You can change it by adjusting the density value and seed of the distributed points on faces node. But we don't want balls to be instantiated below the tree. So let's create a mask for the instancing, which only includes faces with certain normals. Luckily for us, the distribute points on faces node actually has a normal socket that we can use for this. Add a separate XYZ node and a compare floats node. Connect the normal of the distribute points on faces node to the separate XYZ node, then connect the C value of the separate XYZ node to the compare floats node. Set the comparison to greater than, then connect it to the selection socket of the instance on points node. Now we will only instance objects on faces with a normal C value that is greater than 0. I will set the distribute points on faces node to pass on disk, since it gives me more control of the point distribution. And these are the values that I will use. And just like that, we have some decorations on our tree. Next time we will create some lights to hang in the tree, and also create some materials for the meshes we have at the moment. See you then!